here we shall see types of three address codes A equal to B operator C. This operator is binary operator. This is type of three address code, one type of three address code. A equal to operator B. Operator is unary operator. Okay. And this is the copy. B is being copied into A. So B is assigned to A. This is also a three address code. Now, if A some relational operator, B go to L. So in relational operators, it may be greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, equal to, or not equal to. And this is unconditional go to. There is this conditional jump. Here it's an unconditional jump. And here AI, this is the one dimensional array here. Some value is being assigned A to it. And B is assigned by some AJ. We shall discuss in detail. Here A is assigned by pointer P. B is assigned by address of C. Pointer C is assigned by A. This is also one type of three address code. Now we shall see how we shall implement these three address codes. Some uh, statement is given here. For example, if some C segment is given, C code segment is given here. If X greater than 1 I have to perform some work here y is equal to y plus 3 ok here some value is assigned here x is equal to 1 ok so I will write this code segment into three address codes. I am giving line number here. I will assign x equal to 1. In second line, if x is greater than 1, if x is less than 1, less than or equal to 1, what I have to do? I have to terminate because this will not go into this body of if so I will write it if x is less than equal to 1 I will terminate it go to some label or some line number so I am not right I don't know which line number will it be if x is greater than 1 what will happen if this is false then control will be shifted in line number 3 which will be t equal to y plus 3 and in line number 4 t will be assigned into t ok so this is the this is how y plus 3 is being assigned into y ok now at number 5 this is the end of the 3 or end of this program so I will write here 5. I can write here end or stop or I can leave it blank also. So this is uh, how program is working. I will see here again. If x is 1, what will happen? If x is less than equal to 1, what is happening? If x is less than equal to 1, program is terminated. Okay. And if value of x is greater than 1, it, the control will be shifted here and t will be assigned by y plus 3 and value of t will be copied into y. So this is the core segment for, this is the 3 address code for this segment uh, x equal to 1 if x greater than 1 y equal to y plus 3. I will write one more core segment here x is equal to 5. If x is less than 5, 
z is equal to z plus 2 else y is equal to y into 2 something like this ok so initially what I have to do I will initialize value of x5 which comes under 3 underscore now in second line I will take this condition if x is greater than equal to 5 what will happen x is greater than equal to 5 go to some line number and if this condition is false so control will be shifted here if x is less than 5 what will happen value of z plus 2 will be assigned to t or t1 and for this z plus this t1 will be assigned in z okay now after completing this this will be terminated so 5 go to some line number at 6 if x is greater than or equal to 5 what will happen the control will be shifted at line number 6 ok so what will happen t2 will be assigned by y into 2 and this uh, y will be assigned by t2 ok and at number 8 program will be terminated so I am writing here if uh, this loop is executed then it will be terminated go to 8 and if this is executed definitely it will go here no need to write anything so this is the uh, 3 address code for this segment Here, this is the do while x equal to 1, do increase x y 1 while x is less than or equal to 5. So, I will write it in 3 at score. Value a 1 will be assigned to x. Number 2, what is happening? This x is increasing by 1. x is equal to x plus 1 or I can write here t equal to x plus 1 and x is equal to t. x is equal to x plus 1 is also 3 at the score. So, no need to worry about it. I am writing, I am increasing one more step. So, it can, it is the optimized 3 at the score. Okay. So, a, a one step has been increased here. No problem. Then, step number 4. If x is less than or equal to 5 go to um, 2 ok yes if x is less than or equal to 5 we are approaching 2 then this value is being assigned here again if this is less than or equal to 5 it will be approaching here again and again if it exceeds 5 what will happen it will be end of this statement because it will not go there this will be the end of this program now I will write one more code for while or for loop uh, x is equal to 1 while x less than equal to 10 y equal to y into 2 and uh, 
x is being increased by 1. So what will happen here? We shall see. I will write 3 address code for this uh, code segment. Line number 1, x will be assigned to value 1, a 2. If x is greater than 10, go to some label or some line number. If this is false, then what will happen? y into 2 will be assigned in some variable t1 and in number 4 this uh, t1 will be assigned in y okay now what will happen at 5 x plus 1 will be assigned to t2 and this t2 will be assigned in x t2 will be assigned in x then what will happen? Go to 2. Else, go to 8. I will write 8 here. I will try to execute here. If x equal to 1, x is assigned by 1. If x is greater than 10, it will terminate. If this is false, it means x is less than or equal to 10, then t1 will be assigned by y into t and y will be assigned by t1, t2 will be assigned by x plus 1 and x will be assigned by t2. Then go to 2. After executing line number 6, then control is shifting to line number 2 ok so this will be continued until it exceeds 10 if it exceeds 10 it will be reaching at line number 8 which is end of the program so uh, I will write here one more code for x equal to 1 x less than equal to 10 x plus plus y is equal to y into 2 same code is will be written for this code because because for and y statements are exactly same 